All right, after a few dramatic videos that we had recently, uh, it is time to have one relaxed rehouse video with potentially a few thread postures. That's all. And the main actor, or should I say actress in this video, is this recently acquired Harpaktira Pulhripes. Since she is an awesome looking tarantula, she definitely deserves to be presented in a nice glass enclosure. So that's why I'm going to rehouse her from this plastic one. And I plan to reuse this wood piece of her together with some rocks of this type you see. I have prepared them right here. But before we, we can set up her enclosure, we need to make the background. And for the backgrounds, I will be using this cork bark uh, slobber. I don't really know how this is called, but this is usually used for like boards where you pin the stuff, you see. And I just bought uh, the huge sheet and cut it to appropriate size. I already used it in a couple of videos and I really like them because they are super easy to make and super easy to install. You just need to cut them to the right size, to the right size and stick them to the back of your enclosure. And even though it doesn't look as good as the carved uh, backgrounds that I used to make, I mean, I will still do those, but these are also great alternative to that. Uh, in order to glue them to the back, I will just use this uh, expanding foam that is not a classic expanding foam as I already explained in previous videos it is some sort of construction adhesive foam it is like the expanding foam but is somehow different I don't really not, I'm really not sure how different just need to get it a thorough shake and now I prefer to use this for gluing stuff like this uh, compared to silicone that I used previously it's because uh, this dries up far quicker and also it seems that the connection is better than silicone at least when it comes to these backgrounds now I need to let it dry quickly so let's do a quick time jump and the background is cured and now as we are starting to set up the enclosure I actually have a couple of uh, news to share with you. One is really really good because you know previous video I informed you about the open letter that I sent to YouTube in order to get a reply, I mean to get the statement from them in regards to the topic of if I'm supposed to censor the actual scientific name of an ant just because it sounds like something else. And by now I got the response. The person that received an email uh, escalated my concern to their internal team and then a few hours later I received another email from the same person and they said I am pleased to inform you of the good news of my escalation so let me provide provide you with the updates. As promised, I escalated your concern to our internal team and I'm happy to let you know that the video you have concerned with is now eligible for monetization. Yay! <laughs> you should now see a green icon in the YouTube studio. And the rest of the email is just a standard copy-paste reply saying that context is the key, that I need to provide context in the video uh, in order for a better monetization decisions but all of that was provided in my original video and there just wasn't any reason for uh, demonetizing that video so I didn't really get a reply to that thing that I wrote I didn't really get like official statement but at least now they return the monetization and that means that Technically, you can use a scientific name that is called Lassius Niger, even though it sounds like something else. But still, it seems like if the video uh, gets reported enough times for something, it will get demonetized regardless. And then I need to go through all the tedious process of getting it remonetized once again through the email, which really sucks, as I said. While that process lasts, I don't earn anything from that video. So that really sucks and okay at least i know that in theory i can use the name now uh let's set up the enclosure with this rehouse we can actually celebrate the victory of i don't know common sense <laughs> on the youtube yeah it surely makes me a little bit happy okay substrate you know classic stuff spread it around nicely and since this is an african species we don't really want to provide it with a lot of substrate because that way we motivate the spider to web more because they are capable of webbing intensively. I actually want to take the wood piece from her. Hopefully she won't mind too much. Oh, this will actually be a problem because of the, 
because of all the webbing. <laughs> Sorry, girl, for doing this to you. <laughs> She's <laughs> oh, ball of feet. <laughs> yeah, just ball of feet. Now I will place that inside something like this. And also I want to take these rocks and maybe I should close off her enclosure because if she starts to be active, yeah, I could easily lose her and we don't want that. Now let me actually have a bit more fun with this because I want to use these rocks as a background. Like that and another one here. Now to put the wood and another rock. This way I created a bit of hide right here so she can start her webbing over there but I also want to provide with a bit more anchoring points for more web. That's why I will use this. Just need to see how exactly I want to stick it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now a couple details. Sand for good old texture. Some leaves. And there Tarantula can enjoy the enclosure. It looks good, right? It kind of reminds of the enclosure that I made recently for Hilobrahi species Vietnam Blue, but with addition of these nice looking rock pieces. So yeah, yeah, I like it definitely. Hopefully Torrential will choose this area to retreat and will actually web around it to make a nice tunnel. Yeah, I'm hoping for that. So this means that we can introduce Torrential, but before we do that, uh, let me say another thing. A lot of you might remember that a while ago I created uh, the Dark Den subreddit. Actually, I didn't create it, but some other person created it and I just use it now. But anyhow, once again, I want to have a little bit of fun with it, but a bit different. I mean, a bit more standard YouTube stuff. I want you to go there and you probably have some nice and sweet tarantula memes. So go there and pause them and we will have some fun with it in one video. Maybe you have some tarantula cat memes, if you can figure out some clever tarantula cat memes. I don't know, but anything related to tarantulas, spiders, to tarantula YouTubers. So you can poke some fun to Exotic Slayer and also tarantula cat and some other YouTubers. Feel free to do that. I will definitely make a video about it. Now, to get Tarantula inside of new enclosure. Uh, in theory, it sounds really easy, but you know, last time she just went into a thread posture, so she will probably do it now. So we will need to push her slowly inside. I can guarantee you that. Or maybe she will actually... <laughs> she is searching for her wood. <laughs> I'm going to guide you in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, I will just hold your hand. <laughs> okay, I thought that this will work. Interesting how she is now not going in the thread posture. She is not in that mood, not in a defensive mood. But look at those beautiful legs. Man, oh man, this is a pretty tarantula, right? A bit stubborn, but really pretty. There, oh, the ultimate tarantula, the ultimate African tarantula, now inside her new enclosure. Enjoy it, babe. Ooh, she's already inside of the tunnel. Sweet, 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 sweet. I mean inside of future web tunnel. Yeah, and yeah, you can actually hide behind that rock. Um, maybe that wasn't the smartest idea because now we can no longer record her. Unfortunately, we can only see one leg right there. At least she feels secure, am I right? Sweet enclosure. I'm really satisfied with this. Now I can show you actually something else that I have in works. I mean, it is not in works, but I started finally uh, printing all the 3D printed parts for new enclosures. I have a bunch of enclosures in works because I want to set up this entire shelf, you see? Let me just place it at its spot. So there, now you know, uh, this entire shelf is finished, it's complete. This entire shelf is almost finished, but over here I'm still lacking these enclosures. So I will remove uh, these enclosures to here, or maybe here, I don't know. And then I will make a new set of these taller enclosures that will go here. I will also, I also need to make another set of six enclosures for this spot, and also these smaller enclosures. And you see, I already made one, two, three, 
are finished and also I have two in works and yeah that is not connected also this one but I'm slowly but surely printing all the 3d uh, printed parts and then uh, this entire area will look awesome because there will be uh, same type of enclosures on three separate shelves and also I can easily extend light from here so it also covers these enclosures this shelf and then this side will be from here looking at the at the dark then the site will be amazing truly amazing and then once we get this gigas enclosure with um, balfouris on top and also green three monitor enclosure once i get that done uh, this will be awesome but it will take a while for that and if you check vespacito you might see that he got some blood here you see blood everywhere but that's not actual blood it's uh, this how do you call this mm, this fruit i cannot remember the name but yeah he kind of messed it all up everywhere and also i brought him this flower to see if he will be interested in that but no <laughs> you see he definitely doesn't want to eat that uh, dandelion right something like that anyhow now to finish off this enclosure uh, i actually need to tell you one more thing do you remember the fatal fangs tournament that i participated a while ago like two years ago maybe anyhow now they have another tournament and this is the third version of it and even though i won't be participating i will be um having a round in there with whoever wins the entire contest so i will have a, a feed off with the champion so if you want to tune in it starts on 28th of this month on a pet rock channel so i'm uh, not pet rock pet rock and roll yeah that's the channel i will link it in the description this edition of fatal fangs will feature i think something like 64 channels so it is definitely worth checking out uh, there will be a link in the description to pet rock and roll channel and in four days now or no i'll post this on monday so in two days the tournament will start so i suggest you to check it out if you can if you want to see uh, who will win and who will fight with me in feed off uh, i'm trying to get a nice clip from linda the terraforza steer me but so far every attempt that i that i tried to record failed i mean uh, she grabbed the roach but every feeding clip was mediocre and i'm trying to get something good so hopefully in time i will get a decent shot anyhow with all of that being said i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe upload every monday and friday so see you again soon bye, bye.